Welcome back, travelers! It is I, Slider Havoc, and we are back on Infinity Evolved. And today, we are taking a break from all things magical. I am ready to do a little more tech-like stuff. I love my, you know, automation systems and stuff like that. And I know I've spent the first couple days really concentrated on magical based stuff because I do love magic. I love all the magic mods and I will be spending a lot more time on them. However, we've definitely done quite a bit of Psalmcraft lately and we did get uh Batania started and witchery. Although I have not really done anything with it. I think I use it to make some cobwebs and that was about it. I have been prepping and like, you know, getting it ready. And before I go in the house, I keep making this mistake. So I need to remember to take my boots off. I have been getting it ready. So I've created like this little witch's hut because I, okay, when I think of a witch's hut, I always think of these old rundown things and there's like stuff laying all over the place and you know, they're all like dirt huts and stuff like that. So I put in a whole bunch of carpenter's blocks and filled them with dirt and then kind of evened everything out. So it's very much like runnable. I don't need like, you know, my special, my special boots to be able to run up and down, but I think it just kind of gives it a cool little textured look and you know. I like it. It should me. I don't know how you guys feel, but I like it. Uh, I lit it up with some niter because I thought that was very kind of witchy. So I made some niter to come light it up. But then I started to get my altar power up, right? So if you take a look, my altar power is up to 3,800, a little over 3,800. And that was because, first of all, I finally got a skeleton skull. And so I plopped that bad boy on there. These two are specifically for decorations and do absolutely nothing. But the way I did it was you put a lot of plant life around an altar and that's how you up your, uh, your numbers. So I created this little room, which is why I took my boots off and I'll show you why in a second. And basically just put a little bit of everything in it, right? So I've got like an altar sapling, rowan, you know, oaks, spruce, like just a little bit of each little individual sapling, a whole bunch of the glint weed and the, the burnt ender, whatever it's called. And some just regular flowers, vanilla flowers all over the place couple uh, biomes of plenty flowers, just grass, wheat, and then all the witchery stuff over here. And I thought, figured, you know, why not, right? But the reason I take my boots off is because I walk in, it freezes this water and kicks up my artichokes, which you can see they're seeds and not growing like everything else because I just did it a little while ago. And that's what reminded me to take my boots off. So yeah, so witchery is like set up and ready to go just haven't got going and really doing anything on it so i probably will pretty soon but i like this area like as much as i haven't done much you know in the way of using the mod it just i don't know it looks very witchy to me kind of like you know the the straw roof and you know the and the, the moss hanging i don't know. i like it i think it looks really really cool but anyways today 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 we're gonna get a little techie and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating our first automated system and it's going to kind of attach the idea came from me wanting to uh automate my botania mana production so i created that little system with the 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 chest and the the hopper the dropper or whatever and all that stuff but i don't have anything auto filling it so i'm gonna it's gonna serve three purposes here because i want to be able to auto harvest my farm and then I also want to be able to, I have to create a tree farm to create wood to then smelt into charcoal. Then I can supply the charcoal to the uh, botana, botana stuff and then just unlimited. Who is making that noise? I hear a blitz or something like that or whatever they're called. But anyways, so that's what we're going to be doing today. So the first thing I'm going to be needing is a planter. And the planter is pretty, what was this? Or washing plant, bottling plant? No, planter. Okay, pretty simple to make. Um, just a redstone reception coil. I can make that. I'll just put you in there. And then pistons, I can definitely make those. So one, two, and you go in there. And oh, that's not the planter. Uh, plastic. Okay, I only have one plastic. That is made from rubber, I believe. Okay, I have rubber wood. Why Why are these? They're both Mine Factory Reloaded. Why? There's something different about this one than this one. I don't know. But I, I don't... I don't know if you have to do it in a sawmill. Can you hear that? That's so creepy. Um, okay, just a sawmill. A sawmill is the only way to get the rubber out of the wood. 
Really? I thought maybe the sag mill might be able to do it. Smelting that. Yeah, but that, uh, okay. So we'll make the sawmill first. Um, that's, uh, that's quick and easy. That's thermal. And that we can do, no, I just want the basic level one. That one right there. Okay. Uh, which tin gear is this? Not that one. It's that one. Okay. So we'll go ahead and make that. <gasps> I have no tin. I have t I've got tons of tin. Oh, I have not smelted it yet. All right. So we'll go make up some tin and get the rest of the stuff going. Okay. I think we have everything we need, but then again, I'm never right when I say that. So we'll, we'll, we're hoping for the best though. And down here. Okay. So I hate building underground. I really do. I like to be able to put stuff up above ground. But I just, with this kind of a, a build idea, I just think underground is just going to be a better, I, you know, idea for the most part. So my harvester is going to be right here and I'm just doing a basic one. So it's just doing a three by three area. So this should be, well, where I'm going to put my planter. So let me grab the planter and put you right there. Right, right, <clears throat> right. You're going to plant right there. Whoa. And there's a hole there. Okay. And then my harvester is going to be going right here. And I always forget if you have to be facing the way or no, it's the opposite. But I did at least grab my, hey, oh, MFRs don't pick up like that. Okay. So harvester is going to go right there, right? Facing the right direction. Cool. There's going to be a little tiny tree farm right here. Little tiny tree farm. Easy peasy, right? And... Didn't... No, that's where it's supposed to go. Okay. Uh, all right. So like that. There we go. That's where you go. And the tree farm's going to be right here. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Now, what I need is... Oh, you know what? I want to make some fluctuating duct. I mean, it's not totally necessary, but... I think I'm, well, for right now, we're just, we're just going to power however we can, but I'm going to end up switching this all up. I just want to get the basic idea down first. So you're going to be coming in like that. And actually, no, no, no. Now I remember I'm going to go under like this and then go past, right? And let me go ahead and pick you up. Hey, come here. The reason I'm going to go past is because I just wanted to kind of drop the saplings off here and then, uh, then the wood will keep going after that. That's my idea. I, I don't know if this whole concept's going to work perfectly, but I think it'll, it'll be pretty decent and I need to dig you out just a little bit more for right now, because this and now this is where I have to think about how things fill uh, when it comes to like furnaces and stuff, right? So a furnace, we know that smelting items go in on top, right? Right? They go in on top and come out the bottom. And then fuel, I believe, comes in the side. So, well, either way, it's going to gonna, it's gonna work both ways because fuel is not only going to be oh yeah no, no 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 that that's right wow i'm not see my brain is not functioning I, I i know what i want and it's just not functioning okay so fuel is going to come in or sorry the the item to be crafted in this case the the logs are going to go in on top right and they are going to come out on the bottom right right Okay, so I'm gonna actually have to dig this area out back here because, you know, the excavator would be great right now just to kind of clear this out, but you know what, might as well. I ain't worried about making a mess right now. There we go. So let's just clear this whole area out and make sure it's nice and clear under. Okay, cool. So the, the wood's going to go in on top, right? And then the charcoal is going to come out on the bottom. But 
but but it's going to come back up here and that's going to be where the fuel goes in right and if i disconnect all these they'll basically all eject their coal and then come up around here and then fill in right there right and then whatever whatever doesn't get used there will eventually get over to this java bucket java barrel java barrel not bucket uh better barrel there you go right and then they're gonna go in there so what i'm gonna do first is put some primer coal in here right just a couple pieces each because once once it gets going it should start auto filling itself so i just need a little bit of primer and also those are going to output to that's right i need to loop it around a little bit because this is where my power source is coming from right so let me grab my hammer and just clear a little bit of this out here oh no i've broken through that's not what i want to do it's okay Boop. now i'm not broken through all right and then some of this charcoal um, is also going to fill these servos over here or sorry these dynamos over here so we need two ducks right there because you're going to pump straight into this dynamo right and that's not quite how i wanted you to be i kind of want you well here let's do this i can just set you on the ground this way then right so this is just not kind of i'm not my brain is just not functioning right now basically um here we go there we go so you're gonna go like this and just because that's gonna annoy me if that's connected there you go and then those are gonna auto populate with cold there right and then over here what we're gonna do is put down a couple I hate that I keep breaking dirt okay we're gonna put down some uh, water nodes that's yeah, the word I'm looking for we're gonna put down so a little bit of endless water right here and water nodes are gonna be right there so let me do this oh I need to go get water I need to go get water okay that's I had everything on me except for the water buckets but that's okay so basically what's gonna happen is the coal is gonna go in and it's gonna be infinite basically from the uh, the farm and I'm probably gonna have to expand the farm a little bit but not too much this is kind of like a food for uh, what's the word I'm looking for uh, a theoretical setup and then we'll see if the basic setup works and if it does then then we can kind of expand on the idea but for right now this is more uh just for theory to see if this will actually run like this i think i think it's a pretty basic idea so i think it should be good but you never know oh man those are gonna freeze up i'm gonna take my boots off okay Actually, I need to pick you up and move you to like right here, right? So that way you're infinite and then I can do that, right? And now, okay. So now I have to place one block down, put the transfer node on it like that, and then break you and you'll go back to infinite, right? Yep, okay. And then put you down and put this node here oh i guess i could have just done a pipe but whatever and i've got some world interaction upgrades for them so they'll start sucking up water right yeah okay so now you have water and now you have power you're creating steam right all right cool 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 and then this power source is going to be ran like so from here and that's going to come over here to the planter 
like so, and you're gonna power that, right? And I broke the wrong block in that sense. And you're gonna get power just like that. Okay. And everybody should have power now, right? You have power, you have power, you have power, you have power. All right, cool. And I did, I didn't mention it. Oh, my boots aren't on anymore. I didn't happen to mention it, but I did make some sludge broilers because for the time being, I just, I'm going to set up some sludge broilers. They shouldn't be too horrible to start, but you never know. You never know. Um, except for, that's right, this item duct actually has to be in the back. The output is actually in the back. Hey, that's not what I wanted to happen. I was just trying to get you to disconnect from that side. But whatever. Bingo, bango. It doesn't really matter. I just think it's cleaner when it doesn't show that right there. And then the sludge roller will eventually fill, and so I'm going to need uh, uh, an inventory for it, too. But as you can see, the harvester is ready to work, and the planter should be ready to work. So let me go get some saplings. I, I did forget to get the saplings. And I, did, I love how I can just run over the water now. I don't have to really think too much of it. But let, I know I've got a ton, ton, ton of saplings. So let's see what we got. Apple oak saplings. What's a useful tree? It's going to be a three by three area. I don't think the dark oak ones will be, you know what? That's actually going to produce the most amount of wood. I think out of all the trees that I can plant and they're going to plant in a three by three. So let's go ahead and do that and it should be good to go. And then what I'll do is if this is all running properly, I'll go set up everything else and kind of run the pipes that I need to run. How are you running around in the daylight? How, how are you doing that? That doesn't make any sense to me. All right, cool. So you planted all nine of those. And once the tree, because this is going to be a two by two, right? And so that'll be the most amount of wood that I can really get from that. That will put the, the saplings. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need an overflow. I just need one of you. My jobble barrel. That's what I had the other jobble barrel here for was for when the saplings do overflow. So we'll put you right there. Did that? No, it didn't connect. But that's okay, item duct. Now you're connected. And let me go ahead and put you like that. There we go. So that'll be where the overflow goes. Once they won't can't fill this anymore, then they'll just flow over to here. So that'll be good. So I can go, I'm going to grab some bone meal and get this like, you know, up and running and see if everything is functioning properly. And if it is, well, of course you're not going to be sucking up water because once again, I am walking around with these stinking boots on and you guys just don't like the boots. You just, you're just very unhappy with the boots. So what I might do actually just to kind of have a place to walk. Yeah. There we go. Just so I can walk through here if I need to get into anything. All right. So you've got your water again. You guys are out of coal. Cool. Because then you should get supplied with charcoal really, really soon. So yes, I'm going to go get some bone meal, test this out. If it's working properly, then we'll go set this one up as well. And we will be right back. All right, so for the time being, I think we've got it up and running and had to do some changes. So let me tell you about this, right? And I wasn't even paying attention at first. And I started getting weird saplings in here. Uh, as you can see, I've got some oak saplings in here. Um, I, I don't know where those came from, right, at first. And then I was getting some birch saplings. And I was like, what the heck? And then I started getting mushrooms. And I'm like... Okay, so I just kept running back and forth and I ended up creating, like upgrading these to the Mark II and then that way I could make void chests. And I went and made uh, all these into void chests because I wasn't trying to get like a huge excess of anything. It was just like I created all these better barrels to like store stuff, right? <sighs> it's working. Needless to say, it's working. Uh, it, uh, all the dynamos are now filled each one of the furnaces is now filled 
except for this last one, I think. This last one hasn't quite filled. Yeah, because there's coal in there, but I can just take that coal out and it'll start filling up with charcoal now. Like so. That should have gone in there. Why didn't you go in there? Are you going to have issues because you want to go straight into... Oh, no, there, there, there it goes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So maybe it'll share 50-50. I don't know. But anyways, as you can see, I've already got 177 charcoal saved up. And then I've got 458 uh, of the wooden logs. All right. Not a big deal. It's all it's all working really, really good. I keep getting hit by the sludge boiler, but the sludge boiler is putting out some stuff for me. I'm going to go ahead and do this one more time. Come on. There we go. So it's working. Boom, boom, boom. All the wood goes. Grabs everything it needs. It, you know, it, it gets its saplings and stuff like that. Wood's gone. Bam. Then all of a sudden it starts pumping in the sludge broiler. The sludge broiler is doing its job really quickly. And so as long as there's no tree here, I'm safe. Uh, only when a tree pops up does I, do I get hit by the sludge broiler, right? And then all the wood will fill all of these. Um, it didn't quite fill because they've all cooked down. So it's probably just in this first one. Yeah. Okay. So it's just filling those. Cool. So the whole system works, right? The only problem was I couldn't figure out you know, first of all, where all those extra saplings were coming from, and then how I got so much wood right off the bat. Then I looked up. There had to have been some really, really weird, like, chunk update glitch kind of thing when I set this down. Because <clears throat> I could have sworn there was trees here. And as I say, was, because they're not here anymore. But then it took all the wood off of my form I don't know what happened but all of the wood is gone in my form <laughs> it's just gone so I'm gonna have to go get the wood back out of there and come and put it back over here but I I just noticed this a second ago and I was like at that point okay the whole system's running but let me I have to share this with you like I literally just found that a second ago Oh my goodness. So anyways, I'm going to go place some of this wood back down over here and see if the same issue happens again. So are you going to, are you going to mine up the wood or are you going to leave my wood alone this time? It looks like you're leaving it alone. So that's good. But all my wood's gone. I mean, and this thing updated in such a weird way. I had a spruce tree over here for the longest time that uh, was covering up some of my saplings, my dark oak saplings. So this dark oak tree wasn't growing. It got this guy too. Look how far away we are from the harvester. Even if I had the biggest upgrade on it, I don't think we're actually in reach. Look at all those trees over there. Oh, I don't know how this happened. I mean, it got way over all these trees. And so now it makes sense where the mushrooms have come from and the oak saplings and stuff like that. But I, I don't know. And then, then it makes some weird choices. It cut this tree down over here and this tree down over here, but it didn't mess with any of the wood on my bridge. Weirdest thing ever. But now I'm going to have to go and get rid of, like get some trees planted again, because I can't just have this barren hill. I, I'm, that won't be cutting it for me, but just so strange. So, so strange. But I just, I couldn't figure out where all these extra saplings were coming from. And I didn't even take the time to like, look, like literally I was so eager to, you know, get all that fixed really quick. I'm like, okay, so you're creating other saplings. Maybe it's a, mo uh, a mutation, you know, from the forestry stuff. Like it's possible. So I'm literally just hauling, not even paying attention to all of the stuff missing on my farm and go back and forth. And it's all gone. <laughs> Just the funniest thing. But, you know, Minecraft glitches, they they can happen. And, you know, it's just, it's too funny. I, I can't help but laugh. Yeah, I got to go rebuild all that stuff and go plant some trees and stuff like that to make it pretty. But uh, on the bright side, the whole furnace array is working. And now whenever trees do grow, oh. Let me get out of here. I keep freezing that ice. Not not that it's like, you know, in need of power at the moment. But if if the trees do ever grow, are you going to come after me in the daytime? Oh, see, but there it goes. It works perfectly fine. Bingo, bango. It does its thing. The sludge broiler is doing its thing. 
and then all of a sudden it stops and then I just go check and we're getting cool new stuff in here whatever we got some peat and some decaying wheat from uh, forestry so I, yeah, I don't know what happened. That is so strange, but it's okay. We'll go, we'll go plant some trees. I've got plenty of saplings now and we'll get this all fixed and whatever, but got yeah, we, we've got our charcoal generator. So now all I need to do is pipe charcoal over here to these two chests. I don't know how I'm going to do that. If I'm just going to run a couple pipes and just keep it really, really simple. Just do an underground tunnel over there or how I'm going to do it, but it's ready. It, it's, it's ready to go. So however I do it, we'll figure it out. I have a feeling I'll probably just dig underground and do a nice little uh, run to it. Oh, and I did kind of try to do something to pretty up my Batania. So I made a cool little petal apothecary thing. This is like the least used thing after a while, because once we got, you know, mana generation, you don't drain it or a lot, too many flowers after that, but I don't know. I just wanted to do something pretty, so I kind of dug it out and did this kind of cool thing, and I think it's cool. Uh, I can't keep running over it or I freeze all the water. My boots, they freeze some water. So, yeah. So we've got charcoal, so we basically will have unlimited mana now, and then now all I gotta do is run some power from my dynamos, which I think I'm gonna have to do... I think. I think I'm gonna have to do a little extra power. These only have like 40,000. Yeah, in their internal buffer. And these harvesters do use up a decent amount. Not not a whole lot, but a decent amount. So I might might need to do a couple extra dynamos. But what I'll end up doing is actually setting up the harvester, which now I gotta be really careful because what was supposed to just do a three by three area did like a three chunk by three chunk area. Absolutely crazy. So, anyways, guys. Um I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and got a good laugh of it like I did because this is just absolutely funny that all this stuff's gone. So anyways, uh, if you guys enjoyed the episode and want to see more like it, please don't hesitate to hit that like button. And if you're brand new to the channel and you want to see more craziness, like an entire forest get harvested by one little tiny unupgraded uh, MFR forest or harvester, please hit that subscribe button. And until next time.